Hi, I'm Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. There's um, a question I'm asked over and over again. Somebody getting into a new relationship or that has some kind of discord in a new partnership will say to me, what do they want? What are they thinking? Why are they doing this? And the question is really directed in the wrong uh, place. The only question you ever need to ask is what do I want? What do I need? What am I thinking? I know it's tempting. In a new relationship, we want to be what they want. We want to please them. We want them to be attracted to us. We want them to desire us as we desire them. But doing that, putting all of our attention and focus on how do they feel about us? How are we doing? Do they want us? What are they doing? What are they thinking? That disempowers you immediately. There is another way to handle it. You could ask them directly. Don't ask your friends. Don't need to contact a relationship expert. Just ask them, what do you want? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? If you don't get a straight answer, you may be with somebody who's not ready to be in a relationship. Sometimes people don't know what they want. Sometimes they will indeed tell you what they think you want to hear. But as long as you know what you want, there is another approach if that fails, and that is to use the monologue. The monologue is an approach that I learned years ago that is very effective. It is a one-way uh, series of statements that simply reveal your position. They don't require dialogue or interaction, so you're not putting your partner on the spot. It could be as simple as, the sky is blue, the grass is green, and I want to live in Spain. It could be, I like you, I really enjoy seeing you, and I'd like to explore the possibility of this relationship. That's what I'm interested in. And you stop talking. That way, at least one of you has clearly stated what you want and what you need. You don't need to ask for a response. You will know in very short order by not pushing it how they respond to you or not. And if you worry that this looks vulnerable, it's actually very powerful. I know we're so often hesitant to reveal our hand, but if you really know what you want, the best thing you can do is put it out there. So instead of getting your mind all messed up with wondering what they're thinking and why they're doing what they're doing, without any kind of threat, you could simply ask them. And if that doesn't work, try the monologue technique. State what you know of yourself without con uh, condemnation of them and without criticism. Just what you want. See how that goes for you. I think you'll find so much more power in stating your truth than trying to second guess theirs. I hope this works for you. I know it's worked very well for myself and for my clients. Wishing you the best. Susan Winter from SusanWinter.net.